Boom. All right, what's going on, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sunday Stock Watch. A series I post on Sundays where I let you guys know what stocks I'm personally keeping an eye on going into the trading week. You guys, we have a huge week ahead. Bitcoin is displaying some very exciting price action over the course of the weekend. The Coinbase IPO is coming up in just a few days. This is blockbuster. As you guys know, we frequent so many crypto related stocks here on the channel. We've been very fortunate to watch and experience the extraordinary growth of many of these plays. But I truly do believe that this Coinbase IPO with just the sheer scale, the sheer magnitude of it will solidify crypto's place in the publicly traded equity market. So. I could not be more confident in the fact that this Coinbase IPO will make positive waves across the entire cryptocurrency sector. And I also could not be more confident in the fact that this is going to be an amazing week for the Waves family. So let's get into it. As always, we'll quickly go over each topic we're going to be discussing and we'll dive into each one individually in front of us. You guys know the drill, Trading View, where we'll talk technicals, price action, and price targets on the following names today in this order going down the watch list. Of course, kicking it off with Bitcoin. Uh, 24 hour markets you guys that's why it's so exciting to watch these while the markets are closed while the equity markets are closed because yesterday after the like almost right after the market closed me and the discord group watch this bitcoin just absolutely exploded so we see bitcoin break out of resistance it broke out right now at the time of recording i am recording this on saturday so we'll have to see what plays out over the coming days um it's looking a little sketchy looking a little sus but i do remain confident with all the fundamental tailwinds of the coinbase ipo and as i just mentioned i am recording this on saturday i usually like making these on sundays to give you guys the most timely content i possibly can but the lady's birthday is tomorrow and i'm not going to be in town but i i could not not give you guys a sunday stock watch especially with once again such a blockbuster week ahead of us uh and especially falling i cannot leave you guys hanging with a sponsored review okay so uh yeah i'm very excited to get into this we will cover bitcoin after we cover bitcoin on the charts give you guys my price targets there we will hop in to this article, this is the best article I could find personally. I think this is the one that was most, most worth reading through with you guys. Markets Insider titled, Eight Expert Predictions Ahead of Coinbase's Hotly Anticipated IPO Next Week. So you guys, there's so much hype around this IPO. There's so, like this thing is probably gonna 2X, like right at open. Like most of us probably won't even be able to touch the, the actual IPO price, but that's okay. Again, it's about the exposure that this IPO will bring to the cryptocurrency sector. It's about the tailwinds that not only Coinbase stock will experience, but that the rest of this sector will experience as well. So we'll read through this, just go over a few points here. It's kind of a lengthy article, but I do want you guys to, to kind of have, if you're not caught up on kind of the current status and, and what you should know going to this IPO, again, this was probably the most, um, at least the one I, I like the most personally. And again, I wanted to share it with you guys. So we'll read through this after we read through that. We will then touch on all of our good old crypto related stocks. Kicking it off with the Bitcoin miners, Riot Blockchain in Marathon Digital Holdings, Riot Rocket and Marmu. So we will kick it off with those guys. Um, those look very exciting going into next week, especially considering uh, I do believe that by tomorrow, Bitcoin will probably break its all time high of 62K. I still see a, a head and shoulders, an inverse head and shoulders, I should say, pattern playing out here. I'll explain to you guys why that is once we actually dive into the charts. But Again, although it may look a little sketchy right now, this chart can look scary on, on the shorter term time frame on Saturday afternoon. Once again, uh, I remain bullish on Sunday. And, and again, with the tailwinds of the Coinbase IPO head, I could not be more bullish on just the cryptocurrency sector as a whole. You guys, are, we're just we're, we're just getting started. We're back to the races, in my opinion. OK, so again, right, Mar, and then we'll close it out with the OTC space plays that our currency works. Currency works looks so good on the charts. Shout out to the portfolio newsletter group. Shout out to the discord. I picked up a big old bag of sea work on Friday currency works. And again, with the Coinbase IPO, with so much hype just on the cryptocurrency space as a whole, uh, a play like currency works, small market cap. It is OTC, but still like it, it's it's so exciting. And the technicals look amazing. So I'm excited to show you guys why I'm so bullish on sea work right now. And then we'll close it out with the Mars mission, the Mars rover that is alternate systems or ALYI. Still looking great as far as asymmetric risk profile goes. Upside potential outweighs the downside risk. In my opinion, ALYI looks amazing. And uh, as you guys know, I'm in absolute bull mode. I'm in accumulation mode. And I'm always excited to talk about ALYI. So we'll close it out with good old alternate systems. As always, before we do get into it, I will ask you to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today. Or if you are excited about this Coinbase IPO and the potential it will bring to the cryptocurrency sector, the waves it will make, um, subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, always talking about exciting content, always talking about exciting plays like this. And again, it's it's so it's so much funner to make content for you guys when the cryptocurrency markets are ripping and and again, I'll I'll make content for you guys no matter what. You guys know that. But um, again. 
when things are ripping, when times are good, when there's exciting IPOs like this Coinbase one coming up. It's so fun to make content. So subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and want to catch more content like this. And of course, check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter. First link down in the description. That is $15 a month if you guys want to know exactly how I'll personally be trading the Coinbase IPO along with how I'm trading all the other stocks we're talking about today. Literally every every play in my entire portfolio, all call options, put options, stock positions, cryptocurrency positions, and how I trade them. I do update that every single trading day during market hours. And with every update, I send out a pretty comprehensive newsletter explaining my thoughts, throwing some charts in there, throwing some analyses in there, whatever I think is important for you guys to know at the time of actual trading hours. Okay. So again, 15 bucks a month. That is the first link down in the description. Really means a lot if you guys check that out. Put a lot of work into that. And uh, also Fridays are newsletter specific. If you guys didn't know that, I want to make that clear. Fridays, I don't make actual update videos that day. I spend a lot of time writing the newsletter and I spend a lot of time in the Discord as well, okay? So speaking of the Discord, uh, I am trying to set up a live call in the Discord tomorrow because again, I I'm actually going to be out in Airbnb. So I'm not going to be making a video, but I still want to do up-to-date stuff. Uh, regardless, I do hop into the Discord around 2 p.m. Hawaii time every day just to talk it up with you guys. It's a good place to get direct, uh, literally a, a live direct line of contact to me. So I, I do hop in there at least once every day for at least a little bit. Um, and sometimes a long time like yesterday i was in there for probably like two hours total so check out the discord group if you guys are at all interested in that and uh, again i, I want to start doing cooler stuff like that like the lives and and maybe even like I, this is a straight up like just a thought so i'm not i don't want to advertise this but i do want to like fly one of you guys out here one of these days and uh, just do fun stuff like that like really engage with the waves family and stuff so again that is a ways out i'm not promising that right now of course with the current mac everything going on uh that would not that would not be uh, responsible. But as soon as everything gets rolling again, uh, that'd be so sick to do. So again, just keep that in mind. But I do hop in there every day if you guys are interested in the Discord. So shout out to the Discord. Let's get into these charts. All oh, the ads are over. Okay, let's get into the charts. Uh, Bitcoin again. Bitcoin breaking out. It actually wasn't right after market close. I guess it was more. It was more towards the end of the day. More towards more into the night. But still, super exciting, you guys. Bitcoin broke out of short-term resistance. This is exactly what I needed to see since it started its downtrend on April first. This is exactly what I needed to see to flip short-term bullish. So, we broke out. Once we broke out, we ripped all the way up to sixty-one-one, and then. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Drank a um, drank a Celsius right before this. Uh, ripped all the way up to 61.1, and uh, since then we've really been falling off a cliff. So uh, again, in the Discord yesterday, we we're we we're talking about how many times this has happened in the past. This is a classic bull trap right here, and maybe this is a classic bear trap. So after we broke out, ripped up. You see some crazy volume here, and then we're just falling off an absolute cliff right now. Pretty much erasing all the gains that were just made. Actually, luckily this candle is being eaten back up very very quick. And uh, I would not consider this by any means a break of the trend. You guys know TA 101 previous resistance will act as new support. We broke below that. This probably scared some people, sold off a little more, but immediately eaten back up. So I do think that we will continue this rally back up. I do think that this inverse head and shoulders right here will play out and will ultimately come up to uh, Bitcoin's previous high in early March, almost a month ago at, a, at just under $62,000. Uh, again, head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, which is obviously the opposite of a head and shoulders uh again if considering it's the opposite i guess right shoulder head and then left shoulder and you can see the 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 base the, the bitcoin's all-time high like just under 62k is the base w would be the final resolution of this head and shoulders now you could say that it kind of did play out like a lot of people thought it would play out exactly it got very close so you could almost say this head and shoulders pattern played out and because bitcoin hasn't i mean bitcoin isn't a technical short-term breakout but bitcoin needs to break its all-time high for me to be an absolute bull but once bitcoin does break its all-time high which again i think is very very likely by the end of this weekend considering all the just the fundamental tailwinds that are that are blowing bitcoin into the stratosphere i think that we're going to rock it off i think that we're going to break all-time highs and once all-time highs are broken that triggers that hyper bullish sentiment amongst investors that will lead to more volume that will obviously more volume more capital inflow more capital inflow equals more price action and price appreciation so we break the all-time high pretty much we break 62k i'll say like if we can close not even close like if we break 62k we're off to the races we're rocking it off we're going we're going and then my price target once whoop, my price target once we do rock it off once we do break our previous all-time high would be let's zoom out a little bit here to test the line of resistance on the overall uptrend uh which is very obvious all traders are going to be looking at this if it would load again high here in january high here in mid-february uh every trader 
that is trading Bitcoin. Every trader on the planet is going to be eyeballing this trend line. And that would take us if, say, just for example, 10 days from now, if we go absolutely parabolic, I mean, not even parabolic, if we rip though, April 21st, that would take us to an $81,000 Bitcoin. And in my opinion, that is not at all out of the realm of possibility. Okay. So uh, that is my, that's what I think is going to play out for Bitcoin. Uh, watch out, especially on weekends, you guys, the whales are getting so good at manipulating, manipulating this market. I've been in here since early 2017, you guys, they've always been uh, market like whales have always had the ability and always have manipulated the market for their advantage and uh, especially on weekends when there's low volume not as many traders are actually trading it makes it that much easier for them to uh, to kind of sway the market in their direction okay so just be mindful of that Again, bear traps and bull traps. I've never seen more bear and bull traps in my entire career than I have um, in this Bitcoin rally. But again, that's just just you have to expect that. You have to understand that, and uh, that that an understanding of that leads to a lot uh, the ability to to kind of view things a lot more rationally. Okay, so again, just keep that in mind. Don't get too scared. Watch out for bull and bear traps going both ways. Um, but again, I remain hyper bullish on Bitcoin right now, especially if we break this all time high. If we break this tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be super pumped. And again, I'll, I'll talk to you guys on the Discord about that. But uh, that is Bitcoin. Let's go in to the Coinbase IPO. Eight expert predictions ahead of Coinbase's hotly anticipated IPO next week because eight mines are better than one expert. Okay, Coinbase is set to go public via direct listing. You guys, I'm also, I'm sorry, I could not highlight this. So I'll actually just highlight this kind of as I go to make it a little more engaging. Coinbase is set to go public via direct listing on April 14th, which is on Wednesday. Many view it as a significant milestone for the cryptocurrency space. Insider compiled views from eight experts on what it could mean for the rapidly growing digital currency market. Um, Coinbase's debut on the NASDAQ Coinbase's debut on the NASDAQ April 14th has been eagerly awaited. Yes, it has blockbuster especially by cryptocurrency bulls who view the listing as a milestone for the digital currency ecosystem adding to the excitement the cryptocurrency trading giant reported a whopping 1.8 billion in revenue in the first quarter of the year on tuesday compared to the 1.3 billion for all of 2020. this is crazy you guys the fact like bold play coinbase the fact that they released this news prior to the ipo was actually brilliant because their financials are insane you guys in the entire year of 2020 the company pulled in 1.3 billion revenue in the first quarter of 2021 the first quarter they pulled in 1.8 billion. That's insane. They swamped their entire 2020 revenue in the first quarter of 2021. That's that's crazy. And again, I, it's not really a bold play, I guess, because their financials are so good. I mean, well played. On the back of the eye-popping earnings, Dave Davidson analyst Gil Luria increases price target by 125% to 440 from 195. That is quite the price increase. The analyst derives his adjusted price target from a 20x multiple based on the company's expected revenue this year. The record-breaking quarter from Coinbase moved in lockstep with Bitcoin surge which thus far has soared more than 100% year to date and 600% in the past 12 months. We were lucky to experience that, you guys. While Bitcoin's rally has stalled in the past days, it tested the $60,000 level record last week after Visa enabled the use of USD coin and CMA Group revealed that it's expanding its suite of crypto offerings with micro Bitcoin futures. On Thursday, billionaire Rick Caruso's real estate firm announced it will start accepting Bitcoin as rent payment at a first in the residential and retail estate space. So again, as I've been saying, you guys, institutional adoption is coming. That's what catalyzed the initial move up way back, uh, back in December. That's what was the core. That was what was the base of this rally that we're seeing now. We're still experiencing. And I do believe we will continue to experience for at least another few weeks to a month that's just my personal time horizon like i do think this last wave up might be uh might be the last big wave up um but again i'll talk to, uh, about that a little more as we as we progress through this next rally um again you guys it's just institutional adoption institutional adoption infrastructure being built around bitcoin and the bitcoin network um and, and it's real this is not like 2017. Like even even though I just said I do think that uh, the the last parabolic rally might happen. Like this this next this next wave up to 80k, as far as the short term is concerned, might be the last wave up for a little while. I don't think I think it's extremely unlikely that we crash like we did in 2017 because 2017 was speculation. This is actual infrastructure. Uh, being built around Bitcoin and again institutional adoption. There's so much validity that's been brought to Bitcoin over the course of 2020 and 2021. And as more people get updated, as I always say, as we, I mean, everyone thinks this. As more people get educated, if you truly do understand Bitcoin, it's it's a no-brainer that you need Bitcoin. Okay, so it's only a matter of time. It's truly network effect. All right. Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the U.S., offers a wide range of products and services from trading custody services to offering stablecoin peg to the U.S. dollar. It has 43 million users in more than 100 countries. Here's what eight crypto industry experts had to say about Coinbase's public debut. So let's just breeze through this. The direct listing of Coinbase is a huge market signal. However, we're yet to see whether the long-term effect on the crypto industry will be positive or negative. 
Definitely positive in my, man, in my mind. We are big fans of what Coinbase has done today, but we worry about the centralizing effects on the concentration of users on a single platform, negating the true benefits of decentralization. If you're from, uh, from almost like a moral crypto purist perspective, I get that. But from a business perspective, Monopoly? Sounds good to me. I mean, I do, again, you guys, you can get into the moral argument of that but from a pure pure financial business standpoint if you monopolize the space and obviously there's there's crack and there's gemini there's they don't monopolize it but i mean they're definitely the leader in the u.s for sure the coinbase listing is a huge step for the digital industry both from a mainstream adoption and regulatory point of view exactly signifying the acceptance of cryptocurrency business and traditional finance other exchanges following Coin, following coinbase's footsteps are entirely based on their ready readiness to go public this will pave the way for coinbase's competitors to join the ipo movement kraken will most likely be next yeah kraken gemini it, it would not surprise even the exodus wallet i know they're selling shares i love that wallet uh i don't i would not be surprised if if they all just go public like there's a flood of capital just barraging the markets right now. I don't know why you would not go public, okay? The success of Coinbase and its direct listing will bring on the next wave of new users to cryptocurrencies by continuing to solve challenges of owning, storing, and providing custody to digital assets. This public listing will also have an enormous impact on the entire digital asset industry by opening the gate further to Wall Street and institutional investment and confirming the future of finance is decentralized. Going public is stepping into the big leagues. Crypto is becoming a part of the traditional finance sector. This level of adoption seemed like the dream scenario of just a year ago. A lot of users still kept keep funds on Coinbase and look at it as merely a trading platform, but more are beginning to wake up and understand that Coinbase is an important gateway to getting started in the crypto sector. You guys, years ago, I started on Coinbase before it was illegal. It was illegalized in Hawaii before regulation cracked down in Hawaii. And uh, it's crazy how far just those little investments I made in 2017 bought Ether for like 34 bucks. And uh, we all know what price it's at now, so that did very well. And it's it's just crazy to see how fast this happened. And again, Coinbase, Coinbase, this I Coinbase holds a special place in my heart. It, it was my first platform. It's where I first bought cryptocurrency, where I first learned about cryptocurrency, my first wallet. So again, you guys, this excites me so so much personally. This is so big so huge such a pivotal point for the cryptocurrency space as a whole when we entered into the market three years ago last one guys it was a new and novel industry everyone had to wrap their heads around what we were doing as a business the terminology we were using and the potential value a bitcoin mining operation could hold speaking of bitcoin miners get into that right after this people saw us uh, people saw us as a speculative gamble this year we are seeing people move beyond that crypto is not a novel thing anymore but the hot new asset class for equities again you guys crypto equities ripping right now and i just want to say you guys like it's the, the the common theme the common theme amongst all those analysts the, the expert analyst i'm not going to discredit their expert expertise i trust i trust that they're experts but the common thread amongst all of those was was just the fact that this is as i said in the beginning solidifying crypto's place in the financial markets it's, it's bringing as if we again all the institutional adoption and stuff crypto is definitely well established in the financial markets already people are beginning to understand it but this coinbase ipo as far as public equity markets are concerned like all the stocks we're covering now just public equities just stocks it really solidifies the crypto sector's place and that's why i'm so bullish on all the plays in the crypto sector because it's again we've been talking about it for a while and i know some of you are like just talking about other sectors the the, the run's not over the rally's not over and this is by far by far like easy hands down at this moment in time, the most exciting sector in the market. And uh, again, I think this week is going to be massive for the Waves family and for everyone involved in the crypto sector. But the Waves family, we love crypto stocks around here. So let's talk about one of our favorites, the number one and number two stock picks of 2021 that have already performed very well, Riot Blockchain. So Riot is on the verge. Uh, and I believe it's very, very likely that Riot will ultimately break out of this massive symmetrical triangle or symmetrical wedge. I'm sorry. Um, so again, as I've been saying, I'll say this every time, symmetrical wedges usually resolve themselves which is again again this very very obvious symmetrical wedge very textbook symmetrical wedge here uh these symmetrical wedge patterns usually resolve themselves in the direction of the general uh, of the general trend and it's very very obvious that riot is in, an, in a ballistic uptrend so it only makes sense to me capitulation like it doesn't make sense for riot to break down again especially with all the just the fundamentals the start every all every star is aligning from both the technical and fundamental perspective and it just makes no sense that we would break down uh if we do come down at all, 
I think the lowest price we've come to is currently sitting just under fifty dollars. The lowest price is, is like forty seven dollars, which is which is not that much. I would still like establish a position here, um, which I do have a position here. Uh, I think it's so likely that we break out to the upside again. Resolve this symmetrical wedge, almost a, a, a perfect resolution. If we come to the absolute tip, that'll take us to April twentieth. But I think it's going to happen a lot faster than that. Uh, again, just all things considered, I think Monday, Tuesday, we'll probably see a, a break. If we do dip on Monday to like 47 bucks to test this trend one more time, prior to breaking out, I'm picking up a massive bag of Riot and Riot calls. So keep that in mind, you guys. And uh, yeah, if we do come down, I don't think we'll come down much. I ultimately do think we're going to pop. We're going to pop off. Uh, resolve this symmetrical wedge pattern and ultimately come to test this trend line actually so this trend line was a very strong trend line in play prior to riot absolutely breaking out uh i do not think it's likely that riot will use these absolute tops uh i mean this would be like the most bullish case scenario for riot i don't think that's that's gonna happen and i honestly don't feel comfortable giving you guys kind of those price targets but i do think it's very very likely that riot ultimately comes up to test this trend line right here say we hit it on april 21st that would take us to a hundred dollar riot blockchain okay and again you guys all these price targets are ultimately going to be dependent on the, on when they strike the line of resistance so uh again as always draw these lines on on your own trading view charts for yourself especially if you're trading these stocks keep an eye on them and uh yeah it's it, let's just see when these when these happen to test the trend lines because i'm i mean i'm personally confident and i'm prepared for this to happen sooner than later okay so that is riot blockchain let's see that triple digit riot by the end of the month and uh Again, with everything going on right now, it could not be more bullish. Moving on, Marathon Digital Holdings. So Mara has has two good things going for it right now. So uh, good old bull flag. I mean, bull flag on the short term. Mara did break out of resistance. This is kind of that same trend line on on, on uh, Riot that we just looked at. But Mara has played catch up. Mara successfully played catch up to Riot. Mara and Riot currently sitting about hand in hand. And as I've been saying, you guys, as uh, Marathon Digital surpasses Riot in terms of share price. Its market cap is way larger than Riot net right now. Uh, Marathon is currently at 4.8 billion. Let's go back to Riot real quick just to get a direct look. Uh, Riot is currently 3.3 billion. So Mara, Mara's market cap is smoking Riot by 1.5 bill. And although the share price is the same, again, that you use market cap to, to, to determine fair value or actual fair value, okay? But catch up, the share price has always played catch up. I do, uh, again, as Mara surpasses Riot in terms of share price and market cap. I will gradually become more and more bullish on Riot. And I'm personally actually more weighted um, towards Riot right now, just because, again, that just for the reason I just explained, right? So I do think Riot looks good. I think Riot will break out like Mara did here. And then Mara's actually on this breakout. It both broke out of the more medium term downtrend and it also is printing a beautiful like bull flag right here okay so uh that's two two very very bullish technical indicators a break a technical breakout of the line of resistance uh a, a technical reversal so it is now in a short-term uptrend and it's also about to resolve this bull flag i think worst case scenario is we come down to like 46 47 bucks in mara which i would love to see if we do again same thing as mara or same thing as riot i'm sorry if we do come down a little more i'm loading up a bag because i think it's very very likely Again, I keep saying this, but with all the tailwind, the fundamental tailwinds behind the sector, that these pop to the upside. The technicals look great. The fundamentals are there. And uh, from, a, from a trader's perspective, those are, I mean, it's like a e out, easy read. I want to call it an easy read. I'm going to sound stupid if I'm wrong, but this is about as clear a read as, 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 any, as any trade I've ever made gets. Okay, so I do think that we will resolve this to the upside. I do think Mar will ultimately come to test this very, very obviously in play trend line right here again this high in early january mid-february that would take us to if we hit it april it's to april 20 april 20 april 21st that would take us to 85 dollars per marathon digital holding so mar price target is gonna be 85 dollars um again i don't know exactly when this is gonna play out but it's looking very very good okay moving on currency works currency works is looking great currency works is actually on the verge of playing out a massive bull flag okay so mara short-term bull flag c work is on a pretty medium to almost long-term bull flag spending almost exactly a month here beginning way back in like march 5th okay so over a month now again you see the bull flag a parabolic move up followed by a descending triangle the parabolic move up creates the flag pull descending triangle is the flag itself c work seeing some great like uh, it was so exciting to watch this play out like c work was down here i remember picking up a bag here um pretty early on and then right after the mark closed i was like this thing looks so good picked up a whole i i, I loaded up on c work common shares on um on friday afternoon okay so super exciting here i do think it's like very 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 likely that we will resolve this to the upside we keep seeing this again bull flag here rip bull flag here rip this and and as i've been saying you guys i can't i wish i could reference the video but i did compare this 
this chart with Riot's chart back in 2020, like back here. And this looks so much like Riot Blockchain did when it was at this exact same price. Again, you guys, shout out to you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've been, if you were with me when we were covering, covering Riot Blockchain at $2.50. This looks so much like it. Like it looked like dangerously similar. Like we're not going to do it right now, but you guys go back to like, I think May, maybe April, May of 2020 and look at Riot Blockchain. I would say May, May of 2020. Go back to like May of 2020. Look at Riot Blockchain's chart, compare it to SeaWork right now. And it looks so ridiculously similar. And we all know where Riot's sitting right now at 50 bucks at a high, with a high of like 80 bucks. So Again, I do think C work, although it is OTC, it's not, it's, you can't like, it's not as easy to trade options, which does drive a lot of volume. It's not going to be as easy for C work to rip that hard like Riot did. But considering C work is only what, what are we sitting at? $130 million company. It does not take much capital inflow at all to this stock to appreciate the share price. Similar to AOI. AOI is just a extremely amplified version of that. But Again, still a small market cap. See, work uh, doing cool work in the NFT space. They're making partnerships. They're making progress, uh, and the fundamentals are great. I think we're gonna resolve this bull flag. I do think we'll see some resistance around here at the line of resistance prior to popping off. Um, that would take us to. I mean, I, I think we're definitely gonna set a yearly high. April twentieth. That would take us to a three dollar ninety five cent see work. Let's just go to April twenty second. Price target for SeaWork is going to be $4. Um, but if we do break this once again, I think we're off to the races. So ultimately, I think SeaWork uh, by the end of this rally could easily 4X to $10 just because uh, that would a 4X from here would take us to only like a $5 million market cap. And uh, I think, it, I mean, I, I would say almost we could get to it. Like a billion dollar market cap is usually my gauge for when a micro cap stock like when I may start taking profits on a micro cap stock. And again, we were cut like Mara and Riot were around this market cap. Like I remember covering Mara and Riot around like they were just worth a few hundred million dollars. And again, they look, see work looks so much like uh, Mara and Riot. And uh, you guys know I'm, my money's where my mouth is. I think that a, a very similar scenario could play out with see work that we've seen with Riot and Mara over the course of the altcoin cycle, this cryptocurrency bull market of 2021. Okay. So fingers crossed. Uh, but again, it's not luck if, if the, if the setup is this good. And I'm, again, I feel very, very confident if I'm wrong, that's okay. But I feel my rationale behind all of, all of these trades that I'm making right now is, is pretty solid. Okay. So close it out with alternate systems or a L Y I. So alternate systems is currently looking a little slow like volume is so low but again you guys in my opinion it's just a matter of time before cents are a thing of the past if you guys watch that other video when are we when are we going to reach a dollar and it actually came out to my birthday on may 19th funny enough but uh you guys it, it's just a matter of time like aoy is such an obvious play obviously they have to continue executing from a fundamental perspective from everything i'm seeing i trust they will i trust they will continue to do so uh but again we just need to see some volume once we do break back in this channel i think we will which i think is, is very likely on like month like early next week if we do break back into this channel i think it's likely we test the top god excuse me guys it's celsius uh, i think it's very likely that we do test the top side of this channel around 10 cents if we break 10 cents get back into double digit cent territory i think it's very likely we test the top side of the more medium term um uptrend this would take us since the double bottom since the uh, uh the longer term double bottom popping up i do think it's likely that we could test this say we hit it april 21st april 22nd where all the other price targets have been that'll take us to 17 cents uh if we can break that uh, and again, like technicals are just so not super important to me with this stock because the market cap is at $8.9 million. You guys, this is a sub $10 million market cap. This is the smallest by far stock I've ever seen. This thing could 10x and still be smaller than currency works. And again, these guys are trying to be the Harley Davidson of electric vehicles. No, I, I shouldn't say that. They're just trying to capitalize on the, the motorcycle electric vehicle industry targeting emerging, uh, targeting Africa which is an emerging market where prim their, primary, their primary mode of transportation is two-wheeled vehicles, mopeds, motorcycles, etc. They're trying to make the, uh, the Uber of motorcycles in Africa. And it's just such a, like, it's such a unique and such a brilliant concept that if they can even execute on this uh, mediocre, like from a mediocre perspective, this is at least a billion dollar company. So that's why my ultimate price target for ALYI is $10, which is over 100X from here. Again, just because I do think that this is a billion dollar company. It's like, it's honestly in this environment, Nikola, which pretty much had just as much as AOI does right now. Nikola got to $20 billion. If Nikola can get, get to $20 billion with kind of just a bite of Tesla, alternate systems with this unique, brilliant idea, This uh, the con again, the, the vision is brilliant. Will they execute? Hopefully, but the vision itself is almost worth a billion dollars in this current 2021 market environment. So again, 
technicals on the charts don't mean much because if if one institution comes in here if, if one whale wants to pick up a decent amount of aoyi that could catapult the price like 10 million dollars you guys just traded around in the markets like 10 million dollars is, is is a drop in the bucket in the grand scheme of the financial market so this thing could pop off so ridiculously fast which is why again i hold over four million shares for full transparency no direct affiliation with the company but i do hold a bag and i do want it to go up so i am biased towards the upside um that said again i'm, I'm not really worried about the day-to-day -day price action every down day i'm just going to accumulate more and more um but yeah once we pop off i'll definitely cover it and continue to cover it because it's uh it's one of the most it's like the, the single most promising trade in my entire portfolio and again if you guys are part of the portfolio group you would know that very well so we'll call it there you guys please let me know down in the comments below uh what your favorite like what stock you're most looking forward to this week what stock in your portfolio is is weighing you down the most which one you're more ex most excited for which one you have prepared for and uh yeah let me know what you're thinking about the coinbase ipo if you guys are going to partake in that how many shares are you going to buy if you're going to get in it at all if you're going to short it if you're going to long it um because i def just for the culture i have to pick up at least one share okay so again it's ipos are tough trades i personally don't usually like trading ipos but i will definitely cover it on ipo and just talk to you guys about what happens because again it's so exciting for the space as a whole so i will catch you guys downstairs in the comments i'll catch you guys in the discord later if you guys are still around and if you're still watching right now i truly do appreciate you guys have a great weekend it's gonna be a great week and uh i'll talk to you all soon so until next time always remember take action make waves peace